All right, hi there. So we're out here by the trailer today. I am again here with a spree and I am gonna show you the process of how I teach a horse to get up on the trailer and gradually make our way to self-loading. So um, this, this is a brand new trailer here that a spree has never been on and I have not practiced with her in a couple of days because actually I'm hoping that you we can kind of run into a little bit of trouble here and there so I can help you troubleshoot um, of things that you can do to help your horse relax and listen so that they go up on the trailer. All right, so again, I'm hoping that the two videos that I'm doing today will make a good case for you to make trailer loading a regular part of your training so that the day of a clinic or a horse show, or God forbid, if you have to take your horse to, to the veterinary clinic, for an emergency, you won't have an anxiety-filled situation where you um, can't get your horse up on the trailer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna bring a spree over to the trailer. So a couple of suggestions. Um, the number one rule that you want to have for your horse when going over to the trailer is that once you've got them pointed at the trailer, you're gonna keep their head, their nose, and their eye focused inside the trailer. For horses that are anxious and a little bit nervous about getting on, they're gonna to try to look all over everywhere except for in the trailer. So your biggest goal is just to keep them looking forward straight ahead directly in the trailer. And then you're gonna use the skills that we talked about in the last video to help you get their feet moving and working your way up on the trailer. So if you look over here in this trailer, you see that we don't have any hay bags or anything here right now. We want Esprit to learn to just listen to me and to move her feet and get up on the trailer based on just pressure and release of pressure. We will add some cookies into this process at some point because the trick training part of it, when you need your horse to take a pause and we want them to stay quiet up on the trailer while we shut the partition and put the butt bar up. Sometimes giving them something to eat up at the top will help kind of calm them down and keep them quiet so you can get that part done. But you see the Esprit enjoyed get up and on, getting up on the pedestal in the indoor, so coming up onto the ramp wasn't really a problem for her. And she's actually curious now about the trailer. So her head is down, I didn't even have to ask her. And so she's just being curious about coming onto the trailer. We want to keep her head straight and looking in the trailer. And I'm just going to ask her to come up. And I'm just going to have her stand quiet up on the trailer. And then we're going to back up. I'm asking her to back up instead of her hurrying back off on her own. So now, Esprit did that a little bit too easily. She is a very young horse and as you can see, She's very curious about things. So this is new, a brand new trailer. She hasn't seen it before, so I guess she really just wants to check it out and see what's what here. And she stands nice and quiet on the trailer. So I'm gonna ask her to back off. And so, so far, this is a very pleasant experience for her. She hasn't had anything closed in on her to make her nervous and feeling confined. So I'm trying to keep it all very positive for her. And you wanna think about that as well. One of the main reasons you wanna keep trailer loading as a part of your training process instead of waiting to day one is because if you end up having to force your horse up on the trailer, it becomes a very unpleasant and dangerous situation for both you and your horse, okay? And then, you know, you force them up there, you get the trailer all closed up, you go where you're going, and uh, they're not gonna wanna get back on to come home. And, and hopefully wherever you're going isn't too much of a stressful situation in and of itself. So when you first start taking your horse somewhere, try to pick something that you can do with your horse that is not very physically hard, mentally hard, 
that you can just have a pleasant experience and then come back home so that the whole process of traveling somewhere doesn't have a negative connotation with your horse. All right, so because she was so good about this, we can go right ahead to self-loading and then maybe we can find another horse that's maybe not as <laughs> cooperative as, as a spree. Who knew, okay, the four-year-old. So what I wanna do when I wanna self-load her is I'm gonna take my rope and again, she has to stay focused on the trailer and not the horses next to her. I'm gonna take my rope and I'm just gonna throw it over her neck. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna hold her under the chin and I'm gonna ask her to move forward. Good. I'm gonna ask her to go right on up. And then Kaylee, I'm gonna have a helper help me here. Kaylee's gonna meet her up at the door. Can you go with the treat? This is when you would want to use a treat not necessarily to entice her to go up. So if she, here we go. If she tries to back off, I just added pressure. And she knows that if she goes and gives me the wrong answer, I'm gonna use pressure with the whip until she goes the right direction. As soon as she started going up on the trailer, I stopped tapping her with the whip. So Kaylee can give her a little push back so she can back off and we'll see if Esprit can do that again. Back up, buddy. She, she wants to stay up because she knows Kaylee's got the goodies up there. Come on, back up. All right, but you see, if you recall in the last video, how we had the little squeeze game. It's the same idea, okay? You're gonna point your horse's head into the trailer, then ask them to move their feet forward and guide them up onto the trailer so that they self-load. So now that Esprit's pretty good about self-loading, I can start thinking about maybe shutting this partition a little bit, which if your horse hasn't experienced this at first, they're gonna get a little bit nervous because they are naturally claustrophobic animals, okay? So you wanna make sure that you do this whole process pretty slowly and that your horse is okay with you just holding the partition here. If they're good, like a spree's being good, then you can very carefully get the butt bar and put that butt bar off. But you see, because you have to lean down and grab the butt bar next to your horse's hind legs, you wanna make sure that before you get to this process, that your horse is pretty happy and relaxed about the whole thing. If you're in a situation where you're hurried and rushed and your horse is upset, then there's a good chance that you might get kicked, okay? So again, all there's a lot of different scenarios, dangerous scenarios and things that can happen that can cause an accident with trailer loading. So you really wanna make sure that you're taking your time and that you're careful. So I'm gonna just very slowly take the butt bar down because Esprit is not tied up front. Kaylee's just hanging out with her. We're gonna back her off again. So she should be able to start coming back again without me going all the way up. And come back up. All right, so now we've got a spree self-loading. We've got her happy and comfortable with the partition being closed. So I want to talk to you a little bit about getting that ramp closed up as well. So what you would do if it was actually the day that you were going to go somewhere, you wouldn't be using your rope halter right now. You would put a regular breakaway halter on your horse with a regular lead rope so that they can just easily stay in that halter once they're up there and they can get either tied with the safety knot with your lead rope or like this trailer has um, trailer ties in it already. So we could just take the trailer tie and hook it right to her. So we're gonna pretend she has a regular breakaway halter on that is made for traveling. And we're gonna ask her to go back up on the trailer all by herself. Again, if she starts backing off, I put a little pressure until she goes the right direction and makes the right decision to get up on the trailer. And I'm very, so Kaylee, at this point, my helper would be able to take the rope and hook her up to the, the trailer ties. And then I can come and quietly get this butt bar up. So when Esprit first learned this, 
she was pretty good about this whole part. And like I keep mentioning, they're naturally claustrophobic. So when you start to close them in even more, sometimes they get nervous. So you do want to make sure that they're nice. They're tied in a safe way, again, with the breakaway halter, that the butt bar is up, and then you can safely close your ramp, OK? And she's being pretty quiet about that. So I'm going to just open it back up. And that's all for for today is that she just gets all the way up there, gets tied, maybe gets a little bit of treats up top so that being on the trailer is a pleasant situation for her. And, you know, I wouldn't take your horse for a ride for the very first time. Maybe that's all that they do. And the next time you practice, you could go for a short ride around the neighborhood, come back, let them off. And so that trailering is a pleasant experience for them and that you're ready to go when it's time for your lesson or your horse show, that you can go and then the horse is okay. So give her a little push back. So it's great if you have a helper, but you see if you don't have a helper and you've spent plenty of time making trailer loading pleasant and comfortable for your horse, then you can get them up on the trailer without too much fuss. <laughs> and you can do it by yourself if you have to, all right? Because again, like I said, if God forbid you have an emergency and you need to trail your horse somewhere to see a vet, then you'll, you would be able to do that. And I know most of us like to bring a friend along to a lesson or a horse show, but that's sometimes not always available. So um, that would be the process of getting them up and just taking it slow and taking it a few days at a time, um, starting probably maybe two weeks before you have somewhere that you want to go. Um, and like I said before, if you watch all the other videos and think about the whole concepts that we've talked about in the past about you put pressure on when you want your horse to do something and you keep the pressure until they give you the right answer. So in this particular situation, because we want to try to make it as pleasant as possible, you don't want to put the pressure on until they all the way up, but maybe at the very first, you just get a few steps. So yeah, that was right, that's what I wanted. And then you could stop and you would get, like she just obviously knows, but if your horse was just starting and all they did was put their front feet, that's pretty good. Then you just maybe ask back feet, come forward, stop the pressure they can relax a little bit and then ask for more. And eventually they'll go all the way up. So maybe we'll just take a little break and we'll find somebody else that might give me a little bit more of a hard time than a spree so you can see how we handle that situation, okay? I am here with Kaylee and her big old thoroughbred mare, Aoife. And we literally just pulled Aoife out of the paddock and have not gone over our groundwork. However, Aoife does know all the groundwork that we did earlier in the last lesson. So we are going to see if we can get Aoife up on the trailer and just talk Kaylee through everything that we need to do to make Aoife happy and comfortable about this whole process and use the tools in her toolbox that she's got from having practiced all her groundwork exercises, okay? So Kaylee's just gonna walk up to that ramp and she's just gonna let Aoife take a moment to look in the trailer and be very careful not to let Aoife look to the sides or thinking about eating the grass. So just giving her time, you see that Aoife's head is down and she's also being curious like a spree was. And that means if her head's down like that, she stays comfortable. Good, and she's also learned to pick her feet up and go onto the pedestal, so that was really no big deal. So Kaylee's just gonna go ahead and this time lead Aoife up onto the trailer and hopefully Aoife just goes because Kaylee told her to go. So again, we have a very nice cooperative three-year-old mare off the track that just went on the trailer and didn't give us too much drama. So go ahead and back her up, Kaylee. And just backing up is just as important that we practice so they come down nice and calmly. Doesn't scare anybody that's not on the trailer with them. So now what she's going to do is she's going to, K 
Kaylee and Aoife are gonna go back up onto the ramp together, but Kaylee's gonna see if she can guide Aoife up onto the trailer. She's gonna throw that rope over her neck and I will meet Aoife up at the top. So once she gets on, she can have a little treat and be happy to come up on the trailer all the way up and that it's very pleasant for her up on the trailer because we have nice treats or, or you could give your horse some really nice hay up here. Some people like to even give their horse their dinner up here to make it pleasant. But at first you do want to use the whole method of getting them to move their feet in the right direction using pressure and release of pressure when they get it right. So we're gonna just ask Aoife to back off again very calmly quiet and calm off the trailer. And we're gonna try that one more time. <laughs> and this time Kaylee is going to see if she can just very quietly. Up here, buddy. So one thing too, you can see Aoife's putting her head down. You wanna try to encourage them to keep their head up so they don't get that head under the chest bar. So if they get their head under the chest bar and they pick their head up and bang their head, that's gonna cause them to go flying backwards, okay? So you don't, you wanna make sure that when you're practicing self-loading that you manage it so that the head stays up and that they don't hit their head on that butt bar. So Kaylee's just gonna very slowly start to shut that partition and just see how Aoife reacts to it, getting kind of squeezed in a little bit. So if, Aoife were to start to back up because she was getting nervous about the partition and she started to back up a little bit here. I just put pressure on her head, on the rope, until she softened and gave. And because she understands all this and this is stuff that we've practiced, it works very well. As soon as she felt pressure on the rope, she came back in the right direction and, and then relaxed. And here she's a little nervous, so I can push that relax button on her neck and see if she'll put her neck down and relax a little bit more. And I think Aoife needs to practice her relax button a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna open that partition and we'll let Aoife come back out again. So you see, you just keep this going a little bit. So it's not like, oh yeah, they got on once, good, you're done. We're just gonna practice it a couple of times and see if we can progress to closing her all the way in. So she's gonna come up again rope over. Kaylee's just going to point her nose in the trailer and then guide her up. You can do it the same way you would if you were doing your groundwork. Head stays up and over and then this time we'll very slowly close that partition. Make sure that it doesn't make Aoife nervous that she's getting closed in. Very good. And then you can do up that butt bar because she seems quiet and calm enough. She knows Kaylee's back there. You don't want anybody getting kicked. Okay, and then just see how she does with the ramp. Just very, again, very slowly bringing the ramp up so you don't startle your horse. You wanna just make sure you approach all of this in a way that doesn't scare your horse. Keep always keeping in mind, you don't want your horse to get scared in this process. So until they're super, super good at loading, and standing quiet on the trailer. Just take everything slowly, no hurry. That's why you wanna take, take your time to do this long before it's time to actually go somewhere. All right, go ahead and take that ramp back down and you're gonna undo the butt bar. And you see Aoife did get nervous. She's not as excited about this new trailer as a spree was. But she's still being really good about it and the reason she's being really good is because we did our homework before we came out to the trailer so I'm hoping I mean this is literally a three-year-old thoroughbred off the track that doesn't really travel a whole lot um, in fact I don't even think she really did much on the track so Kaylee has done a very good job of working with her on the ground and developing all the skills she needs to guide her horse up onto the trailer so that wasn't 
overly dramatic. So if you're having a problem, some horse, every horse is a little bit different. Obviously, some horses are more anxious than others. So if your horse is super, super anxious, again, go back to those groundwork exercises, really practice them, and then think of the, the skills that you learned as a handler to help guide your horse up on the trailer in a relaxed way. So I hope that that was helpful. I almost wished that um, these guys gave us a little bit more of a hard time so you could have seen um, how to handle it when they got upset so you could help make them relax and um, how to add pressure when you needed and to take the pressure away when you needed. That is super important is that your timing of your pressure is just right. If your horse is being good and they're, and they're trying and they keep their head fo focused inside the trailer, then you can keep everything very quiet and low pressure. If they start backing up, then you need to add the pressure until they go back forward again. If your horse gives you a really hard time and is kind of trying to blow over the top of you, jump off the ramp, um, trying to kick out, things like that, then you can go to your groundwork patterns that we worked with here um, in front of the ramp where you would turn those hind legs, maybe do a little bit of lunge circle, backing up, changing direction, backing up, changing direction, getting hind legs, crossing over, all of that stuff. Get them a little bit tired and then bring them to the ramp and have them come up on the ramp so that you teach them that if you stand up on the ramp, I'm gonna give you a little break and you can rest. Because we remember that, that the horses always want a little bit of time to rest. So you teach them that the ramp is a good place to go for a little bit of a rest, okay? Well, I hope that was a helpful video for you to work with your horse um, on trailer loading. I hope I made a good case to you to make your trailer loading a regular part of your training. It doesn't have to be a weekly part, but just make sure that you incorporate it somewhere in your training, especially a couple of weeks before you're planning on heading out somewhere, okay? So uh, if you liked that video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, let me know how you're doing. Thanks for watching.